you like to throw one in every now and then. But it will be a very straightforward word problem as opposed to some, like some of the others. So we're basically going to solve exponential equations and we're going to solve logarithmic equations. And for those of you who sit here and watch what I do when I'm explaining this and say, didn't we already do that? The answer is yes. This was a logarithmic equation that we solved. The process we used to solve it was to change it to exponential form. This was an exponential equation that we used, that we solved. The process we used here was to change to logarithmic form. That's going to be the straightforward way to solve, that we will use to solve exponential and logarithmic equations. Some of you may have seen other ways in the past. Be careful about using them because you often get away with um, things that aren't really mathematically correct. So let's start with this problem. 5 to the x equals 34. What kind of equation is this? Exponential. So what form should I change to? Change to logarithmic form. So what will it be when I change it? Log what? Log base 5 of 34 equals x. Now, if this is written work or a test, you can stop right there. Because in both of those cases, I ask you to give exact answers, and this is a nice exact answer for that. I don't tell you you have to use your calculator for it. Unfortunately, on web work, you have to come up with a number answer for web work. What do I do to get from log base 5 of 34 to something that web work will recognize? Okay, so you use your change of base, and it sounds like all of you want to use base 10. So if you use your change of base formula, you would get log base 10 of 34 divided by log base 10 of 5 for your x, and this would also be a correct answer. By the way, you could type it into web work like that, just remembering your parentheses. So you put it in your calculator or put it into web work. All right. Do you think you can solve this one by yourself? Give it a try. Let's see how it goes. Is equal to <coughs> 1 minus 4x. You don't get to stop here because you don't have x equals yet. Now what can I do? Subtract 1. Subtract 1, so I'll have the natural log of 20. This number minus 1. That's not the natural log of 19. And that's equal to negative 4x. And then what? Divide by negative 4, natural log of 20, minus 1, all divided by negative 4 is my x. Do I need to use my change of base formula? Nope. I needed it over here because I had log of base 5. Natural log is one that's on my calculator and web work recognizes. You can put this whole thing into web work. To be on the safe side, I would write it as follows. Open parentheses for my numerator, natural log, open parentheses for my argument in the logarithm, then close them. That's the safe side. I think it would recognize that. Then minus 1, close my numerator, then divided by negative 4, as you could just type that right in to web work. This would be considered an appropriate exact answer on a test or on written work. You don't have to go far. You don't have to plug this into your calculator. Most of the test parts, the idea is I want you to be able to do them if you don't have a calculator. And there's only like one or two things that you might get stuck without a calculator. What about this equation? E to the 2x minus e to the x minus 20 equals 0. Now, over here, I was okay because I had my exponential form on one side, everything else on the other, and I could just change to logarithm, so it's the logarithmic form. But here I have e to the 2x, is it minus e to the x? Minus e to the x 
minus 20 equals 0. except I had x squared and an x to the 4 instead of an x and an x squared. This is a quadratic type equation and it's in e to the x. Here is my variable thing. This is the same thing as e to the x squared. So you can treat this like a quadratic. In this case, it factors and it factors very easily. If you don't see that it factors, you can use your quadratic formula, but in the quadratic formula, what will you be solving for? E to the x. In your quadratic formula, you would get e to the x equals, and then that whole mess. This is why I make you write down the x's each time when you're solving for x, and you'll have to write down e to the x when you're solving for e to the x. Let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula so everybody can see how that works. If you can factor it, I'm sure you'll be fine. We'll end up in the same place. So, what's my b? Negative 1, so I'll have 1, because it's negative b, plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 20 all divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So what will I have? I'll have e to the x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 81. Oh, that was nice. Divided by 2. So e to the x is equal to 1 plus or minus 9 over 2. Well, that'll give me e to the x equals 1 plus 9 over 2, which is 10. Or e to the x is equal to 1 minus 9 over 2, which is negative 4. And that's not 10, it's 10 divided by 2, it's 5. Am I done? How do I know I'm not done? How do I know I'm not done yet? When you solve an equation, what do you solve for? x, do I have x equals a number yet? No, so I'm not done yet. I gotta get x equals a number. Well, that shouldn't be so bad. Let's start with the first one. I have e to the x equals five. This should look easy now. I can change that so that I'll have x equals a number. How do I change it? Right, I change to logarithmic form, that'll be the natural log of 5 equals x. What about the next one? e to the x equals negative 4. ln of negative 4. ln of negative 4 equals x. I put those two answers into web work and it says, anybody got a guess? No, it does not. It the says, I'm sorry, you are incorrect. The 5 is negative and the 4 is positive. Isn't it? Because how else do you have to end up with negative the x? Do you need a 5 negative? Yeah, but when I moved it over, oh, it became positive. What? Can you take a natural log of the negative number? No, remember the domains of our logarithms? We can't take the natural log of a negative number. So this one is not in the domain. So that means this is our only appropriate answer. You don't have to look for that. Because you can have an equation like this that will produce a result that is not a possible answer because it's not the domain. By the way, some of you may have figured that out up here because you can't have e raised to a power and get a negative answer. Either place is appropriate to say this is not possible, you can't do it, and toss that answer out.